great 3D sports cars. We're a niche vehicle manufacturer. We produce our own lightweight sports car. Um, it's all manufactured and built in Great Britain. Um, we've took a different model to a lot of our competitors this year in that we've actually so, um, wanted to build, manufacture and design the whole car in-house, uh, giving us a lot more flexibility on the design, the performance um, that we can then pass on to the customer. Our car is called the Zero. Um, we've sold over a thousand worldwide now, um, predominantly sold into the UK market, um, but export is growing. So a few years ago, we took the decision that we actually wanted to manufacture more of the cars and have more control over our own, um, our own design and performance of the vehicle. Um, so we've looked into various different softwares and that, and we've chosen to go with Autodesk through CAD spec uh, to enable us to, to grow this element of the business. We looked at a few different softwares. Um, we started off with another uh, software provider, um, which got us started down the road, got us learning what we actually needed. Um, we found some shortcomings with that. We then looked into the marketplace and found that FeatureCam uh, was the right solution for us. The journey's been really good. Um, from that initial meeting, I think it was a trade show somewhere, we then went to their technology center in Birmingham, uh, which was a really impressive place. Um, we then got put in touch with CADSpec, and then Michael from CADSpec, um, I sort of held our hands through the whole process, uh, training, getting the post written, um, and getting us on the machine and actually producing parts. CADSpec are uh, an Autodesk Gold partner. We've been um, supporting the Autodesk um, design um, software for over 30 years now. Quite recently, back in October 2019, we also was approved to actually support Autodesk for their manufacturing software solutions. After initial direct conversation that um, Richard at GBS had with um, Autodesk uh, and following a, a visit to the Autodesk Technology Centre in Birmingham, we was asked to get involved by, uh, for the provision of the software, for the training which we delivered online to these guys uh, due to the restrictions that was in place. And we also provided the edits um, to the post processor specific for the Miller machine. So going forward, we're looking to actually help them uh, you know, with the support on the software for their, their, their lives as well. Well, whilst using FeatureCam, cycle time's decreased by about a third. Also with the programming time, it's decreased by about the same. Also, while using it, the machine seems to cut smoother toolpaths and overall it just seems a lot uh, different experience than what we had previously. But with this component, we used AFR to program it. That picks out these slots, the chamfers, the threaded holes. And with this, this helps with the improvement of uh, reducing the programming time. We're in the early stages at the moment of using FeatureCam, but as we move forward, we're going to start using new parts. We're going to be trying to improve cycle times, surface finishes, so it's just a continuous improvement process. Working with um, GBS has been a fantastic experience. Um, very dynamic company. Um, we've obviously implemented the software, provided the training. Um, they've got that working with the milling. The future is to get that on the lathe as well. Um, and also to expand on the other technologies that they've got access to with um, Fusion 360, um, potentially with the generative design going forward. I think we'll definitely look to use more Autodesk products, uh, especially with them such a wide range of products and that, uh, particularly the generative design um, lends itself really well to what we're producing with it, you know, having a real focus on lightweight sports cars, it kind of fits really well. I think over the next few years now, we really want to sort of capitalise on what we've been doing. We've done a lot of R&D research design. Um, it's now really to get the name out there and, and grow as a company.